optimisation. Thank you, Mr Chair. Honourable Leanne Dalziel. Chairman, I think that the member who's just resumed her seat was telling us about how urgent it was that this House address this particular matter. I think she said that um, members on this side of the House that have said very clearly that we support the passage of the bill um, with respect to this particular matter um, because it is an important issue. But when she describes it as an urgent issue, uh, she is describing a bill that was introduced on the 5th of April 2011. I think that was before the last general election. To, uh, it was uh, introduced on the 5th of April 2011. Now, to be true to their word, they did treat it urgently because it had its first reading on the 12th of April 2011, well, which is pretty smart, you know. I think. Who was the minister back then? I think it might have been um, a different minister, but he was in charge back then, and he said this is urgent, it needs to go straight to a select committee. We've had this problem arise where a particular juror had been um, you know, sort of followed up by somebody who was defending themselves. They had access to information that would normally uh, go through their lawyer. It has raised a genuine issue. So he introduced it on the 5th of April. It had its first reading on the 12th of April. Submissions were due on the 26th of May because the then chair of the Law and Order Select Committee, Jackie Dean, who's just uh, resumed her seat, she uh, obviously was working under instruction that this was an urgent bill. It had to be dealt with quickly. We needed quick submissions and we needed to get it back to the House so it could be dealt with as a matter of urgency, as we've heard uh, from her just now. So the, um, it was uh, dealt with, the submissions were due on the 26th of May. That's a very quick turnaround for submissions to be called. Um, when did the Select Committee report back to the House? Well, actually, they did a very, very good job. They did it on the 11th of July 2011. That is extraordinary. They absolutely did their job. Uh, they got this bill back. When did it have its second reading? The 22nd of May this year. So nearly a year later, they managed to actually prioritise something that they told this House was such an urgent priority that had to be addressed. And we've heard it repeated tonight from Jackie Dean criticising this side of the House for daring to raise the actual substance of the issues in the debate, but actually seeing, seeing exactly what it is that they have done. The reality is, is that when it suits the government to choose something as a particular issue for the, um, yeah, well, SOEs, they managed to get that through a heck of a lot more quickly. And why did they get that through so quickly? Do you think they might be nervous about a certain number of signatures that are being added to the petition day by day by day? Of course that takes a priority. This issue, which we've just had a lecture from the former chair of the Law and Order Select Committee. We've had a lecture from, oh, she's still the chair. Well, I haven't had the pleasure of actually serving on that committee at any stage, and that just reminds me that I'm very busy tomorrow morning, because I know that the whips are looking for somebody to serve on that committee tomorrow. But the truth is, is that there is no question of urgency when one is dealing with these matters, unless it is a matter that the government wants to bring to the attention of the House at a particular time. And yes, it was urgent back then, because yes, there had been um, I think a, a, a fundamental flaw in the system that allowed for um, access to information that wouldn't normally be available to somebody. Nobody had thought about that being an issue before. It did come up as an issue and it was uh, dealt with in an appropriate way. But then to have a lecture in the House from the chair of the select committee for daring to debate the, the substance of the, of the issue um, by my colleague Charles Cheval, who actually does understand these issues extremely well, to have that challenged in this House on the basis that um, 
the time frame for dealing with these issues um, still meets that urgency when we find ourselves, you know, sort of 11 months or 10 months down the track uh, from when the bill was reported, reported back uh, from the House, uh, for, reported back from the Select Committee is absolutely extraordinary. No, in fact, 12 months um, now that we are debating it um, in its uh, committee stages. So we, we have made it absolutely clear that we agree with the substance of uh, this. Honourable Judith Collins. Oh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to take the opportunity to address.